If you want to paint a floor and you want to make it a bit more slip resistant, there are lots of products out there that will enable you to do that. There are products such as the Kuvar Shore Grip, which come with an aggregate already mixed into the product, or you can use a standard floor paint in conjunction with an aggregate. So just taking the Kuvar Shore Grip to start with, we've got a couple of tiles here. We've painted these already, and we've got a nice rough slip resistant surface. When using products like the Kuvar Shore Grip, a lot of the aggregate will have settled to the bottom of the tin. So using a flat baited stirrer, you need to agitate the product, make sure that all the aggregate is distributed evenly throughout the product. That's important, as I say, at the beginning when you first open the tin, but also through the application process, because if you leave the tin standing, the aggregate will settle out while you're working. The other way to achieve a more slip resistant surface is to use a standard floor paint in conjunction with an aggregate. There are several types of aggregate available, uh, slightly heavier ones that can either be mixed into the paint or they can be broadcast onto the surface while the paint is still wet. We're just gonna show you now how that would take place. So the first thing to do is to get our paint on our roller and then we can apply it to our prepared surface. Now, while that paint is still wet, we need to broadcast the aggregate across the surface. Now, either you can do that by hand, just by throwing it across the surface, but to get a nice, even distribution, you can make a little shaker. So what we've got here is a little plastic container. We've put some holes in the bottom and filled it with the aggregate. So it's like a, a big pepper pot, if you like. We can then use that to shake the aggregate over the surface, nice and evenly, and then we're happy with the amount of texture that we've got on there. We can either leave that to dry before we apply our second coat of paint, or if we want to, we can just back roll gently over the surface just to incorporate the aggregate into the paint. We'll leave that to dry, and then we'll have a nice low slip surface. As we've said, there are lots of products out there from twin pack to single pack, both with the aggregate mixed in or with the aggregate to be added afterwards. We hope you found that information useful. If you'd like to discuss your project in more detail or you need some more information, then please feel free to give us a call.